श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरोर्ब्रह्मा गुरोर्विष्णु गुरोर्देव महेश्वर गुरो साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम यतो यपी उपन्यस्त अर्थ से अनेकदा उपपत्ति उक्वा तम चर्थ उपाद्य उपसंहरति भगवान स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम यतो यपी कौंतेज पुरुष से विपश्चिता वर्स नंबर सिक्सटी एंड वॉट आर द मेन टॉपिक दैट वॉज ब्रॉट आउट द मेन टॉपिक दैट वॉज ब्रॉट आउट वॉज answer to the third question of arjun the first question was stita pragnasya ka bhasha samadhisthasya keshava second question was stita dhi kim prabhasheta how this man of steady wisdom respond to the world when the world reaches him and we found that his response is like something reflecting in the mirror everything is reflected but nothing is reacted non reactionary uh, experience is the steady wisdom of this wise man now when this samatva equanimity is maintained then the next question comes kim asit what is the foundation because of which he doesn't get disturbed whatsoever may happen so he started developing the reply to the third question kim asit what is the foundation on which he is standing because of which there is no uh there is no loss of balance in understanding his understanding doesn't get corrupt at whatever stage in whatever experiences he is going through so to tell that he has developed a topic prasade sarva dukhanam hani rasya upajayate prasanna chetaso jhashu buddhi paryavatishthate so first he talk about the control of the faculties then he talked about the attitude prasade sarva dukha nam is an attitude so when we take everything as uh, with the prasad buddhi meaning we accept everything without reacting as a result when we stop reacting outside we are prasanna nearest to our own self whenever we get disturbed there is a thick curtain of thoughts between the actual i and the virtual i virtual i is the ego so prasanna chetasaha but he who is not carrying the load of thoughts such a person buddhi apariyavatishthate is able to maintain his understanding about his correct identity whether he is a body or a prana or the mind or the intellect or the absolute self his mind or his understanding doesn't get corrupted and therefore this prasannata is glorified that he who is not yukta samahita antakarana he who is not able to keep himself cool he cannot have proper understanding second thing he who cannot keep himself cool he cannot identify with the theme of study and third he who cannot identify with the theme of the study he is not at peace and he who is not at peace he is most miserable person and what is the reason the reason given is indriyanam hi charata janmano nividhiyate 
तदस्य हरति प्रज्ञाम वायुर नाम विमामसी अप टू हियर वी आर सी इन लास्ट लेक्चर दैट वेन अवर माइंड जॉइंस विद द सेंसेस एंड कीप्स द इंटेलेक्ट आइसोलेटेड एंड डिफिटेड इन द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ बॉडी दिस इंटेलेक्ट विथ ऑल नॉलेज विजडम बिकम्स इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज वन वर्सेस टू and tadasya harati pragnyam the pragnya the understanding is looted away because the mind has joined hand with the senses after having said this the conclusion is 68th verse tasmad yasya mahabaho tasmad yasya mahabaho nigruhitani sarvashah इंद्रियाभ्य तज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता सो इंद्रिया प्रवृत्त दोष उपादि यस्मा बिकॉज वेन एवर द सेंसेस आर लेट लूज इन दिस वर्ल्ड डिस्टर्बेंसेस आर क्रिएटेड इन द माइंड so this is the dosha and therefore yasya yate he he mahabaho that seeker he arjun nigruhitani sarvashah he who has controlled his all faculties from all sides meaning what this is a very important thing control does not mean keeping the faculty shut off no like you know i gave the other day example keeping the car in the garage is not a control over car it is a parking of the car <coughs> control over car means the car is put to activity it is taken wherever it is required it is stopped whenever it is required and it is brought back it is brought back in the same manner our senses and mind is functional it has not become dead and they are available into getting into the world whenever we want and they are able to be shut off whenever we want that freedom is called as nigruhitani sarvashah so सर्वश सर्व प्रकार मानसादी भेद ही इंक्लूडिंग द माइंड इंद्रिया इंद्रियाभ्य शब्दादिभ्य तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता ही इज विस्डम डज नॉट गेट करप्टेड न वॉट इज द मीनिंग प्लीज बी वेरी अटेन्टिव वेन एवर अवर senses or the mind interact with the world and if any impressions are formed those impressions become the seeds for the subsequent disturbances and if we interact with the world and impressions are not formed but wisdom is gained through every interaction be very clear when we learn from every experience we gather wisdom and in this manner when we keep on learning from every interaction with the world with every interaction we grow wiser and when we grow wise what is the sign of a wise man nanu shochanti panditah a wise man does not grieve this is the sign why he does not give grieve because he is not taking the world too seriously like i told you that day the story when a lady reading after having come all the way from uh, uk in goa staying in a hotel after having finished her bath sitting with a novel reading and crying and after one hour of crying and all that 
as if she has obliged the world by crying. Namaste, it is so touching. It was such a lovely tragedy. As if there is less tragedy in the world, you read the artificial tragedy and start enjoying the misery. So, when we are living in this world, one very important principle, don't allow impressions to be formed. What are the impressions? Impressions are, I have done something good or I have done something bad. These are the two impressions. Let the life be lived without creating I have done this thing or I have not done this thing. This is the meaning of control over senses and mind. Otherwise, we have got intense longing for eating Rasgulla. No, I am not going to eat. I am not going to eat. And then Rasgulla will stand nearby and start showing the tongue. I am here. And you say, no means no. So you are fighting inside. That is better go and eat and finish it off. Idea is keep your mind cool and disturbed. That is important. So, यहां यम लौकिको वैदिको वैदिक कहा च व्यवहार हा सहा उत्पन्न विवेक ज्ञान से स्थित प्रज्ञ से अविद्या कार्यत्वाद अविद्या निवृत्त निवर्तते एंड देयर फोर दिस वाइज पर्सन हिज लौकिक एंड वैदिक व्यवहार सी टू थिंग्स द वर्ल्डली इंटरेक्शंस एंड इंटरेक्शन विद रेफरेंस टू द स्क्रिप्चरल इंजंक्शंस both these interactions utpanna viveka jnanasya sthita pradnyasya he who has recognized that this whole thing is a big cinema going on and there is nothing worth becoming serious about anything so he will play the game of life but will never be influenced by the experiences of life. So, Utpanna Viveka Jnana Sestita Pradnyasya Avidya Karyatvat Avidya Nivrutta Univartate Now for him he knows this is Avidya Karyam. Avidya Karyam means that which is born out of the duality. And because of this duality I have no correct identity about myself. I have kept the world other than me. As a result, there is a sense of desire. Desire will prompt me into action. All these things will disappear. Now what happened in Arjuna's case? When he discovered his correct identity, that I am a warrior on the battlefield, thereafter he fought the war. But in fighting the war, his earlier problem that I am going to kill my grandfather, I am going to kill my guru, those problems were sorted out. See how important it is. Therefore, avidya nivruttau, avidya karyatvad, vaidikol and laukikaha vyavahara cha nivartate, avidya yaha cha virodhatvan nivruttihi iti itadartham, Sphuti Kurvan Aha. And therefore, when ignorance about the self is removed, then automatically all the activities come to a halt. See how it is. Take a simple example. The other day, I was uh, wanting to see one um, address on a visiting card. And every now and then I say, where I have kept, where I have kept. Maybe I have kept it there, I will get up and see that place. It is not there. Then again I will come and do my work. Maybe it is there, again I will go there and see it is not there. Now why this running was going on? Because I did not know where it is. Then finally I said, anyway I don't want to see, see later whatever happens. 
And when my mind was cool, undisturbed, and when I was sorting out the paper, it was on the table below this book. And I have seen the whole house. Was it lost? No. It was very much there. Now why I was struggling? Because not knowing in the same manner. All the problems are of this one thing. Not knowing our correct identity. Then what is our knowledge now? I am finite, incomplete, others are other than me, source of misery, tragedy, fear, anger. The worldly objects are to be desired. Without them I remain incomplete. As a result I must work so that I can get those objects, indulge, and be happy. So where from it all started? When I take myself to be incomplete. So avidya yaha nivrutaya. When this avidya is withdrawn, when I come to discover myself, then we live in this world. And our vision will change. Now we are living as body, the wise man lives as consciousness through body. We are living as prana, the wise man lives as consciousness through prana. We are living as mind, the wise man lives as consciousness through the mind. We are living as intellect, the wise man is working through the intellect, but not as I. This is what is called as freedom from I. So, avidyayaha tra vidya viroda nivrutti hiti eda dartham sputi kurvan aha. So, when the ignorance of the self is rejected, no desires, no karma. And when there is a doubt about our correct identity, there will be desire, there will be karma. This is the mathematics. To say this, in the next verse, Bhagavan says, Yanisha Sarva Bhutanam Tasyam Jagarti Sayami Yasyam Jagrati Bhutani Sanisha Pashato Mune Sanisha Pashato Mune Here Bhagwa's comment is very beautiful. Ya Nisha, Nisha means night, Ratrihi. Sarva Padartha Nam O Viveka Kari Tamas Vavavatwad Sarveshan Bhutanam Sarva Bhutanam. What happens in darkness at night? All the objects and their separate understanding and identification is covered by a sheet of utter darkness. So what is the meaning of night? Night means that where discrimination is zero. So, Yanisharatrihi Sarvapadarthanam Aviveka Kari Tamas Bhavavatvad Sarvesham Bhutanam Sarvabhutanam. Now, Kim Tat, what is that? What is that night? So, Paramartha Tatvam Stita Pradnesi Vishayaha. Now, here the topic is very beautiful. Be attentive. Paramatma Tatvam Stita Pradnesi Vishayaha. The wise man is hooked on to the absolute. And Yatha Nattancharanam Ahayevasat Annesham Nishabhavati. Those who are, you know, like, you know, the owl, Ullu. When for the average people it is a darkness, that becomes a day for those owls. In the same manner. So, 
यथा नक्तंचरा नाम अह एव सत एंड फॉर देम डार्कनेस इज द लाइट सी अह नक्तंजरा नाम अह एव अन्यशा निशा भवती सो दैट विच इज द डे फॉर अदर्स बिकम्स ए नाइट फॉर देम एंड दैट विच इज ए नाइट फॉर अदर्स इट बिकम्स डे इन दिस मैनर देअर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट तद्वत इन द सेम मैनर नक्तंचर स्थानीयानाम अज्ञानाम सर्वभूतानाम निशा इव निशा परमार्थ तत्व अगोचरत्वात अतद बुद्धि नाम सो फॉर द इग्नोरेंट पीपल देर इज नो ट्रेस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द एब्सल्यूट जी या निशा सर्वभूतानाम दैट विच इज नॉट इवन सस्पेक्टेड टू बी एक्सिस्टिंग दैट रियालिटी इज द वन टू विच दिस वाइज मैन इज अवेकंड see how beautiful it is now for the wise man other than parmatma nothing is is nothing else is and for the other wise man other than the world there is no parmatma see the contrary vision so naktanchara sthaniyanam adnyanam sarva bhutanam nisha iva nisha parmartha tatvam so the parmartha tatvam is not available for the ignorant people and this parmartha tatva the absolute reality is the subject matter of reality for the wise further tasyam parmartha tatva lakshanayam ajnana nidraya prabuddho jagarti sayami so tasyam from that night which is that night परमार्थ तत्व लक्षणायाम अज्ञान निद्राया सो द इग्नरेंस द डार्कनेस अबाउट द रेकग्निशन ऑफ द रियालिटी इज थ्रोन अवे बाय दिस वाइज मैन जागृति संयमी संयमी मी संयमान जितेन्द्रियो योगी इत्यर्थ वी आर सीन दिस वर्ड संयमी इन अवर पातंजल योग दर्शन त्रय मेकत्र संयम वेयर द माइंड इज कंट्रोल्ड थ्रू धारणा ध्यान समाधि साइमल्टेनियसली इज कॉल्ड ए संयम सो ही हूज सेंसेस एंड द माइंड इज फुल्ली अंडर कंट्रोल एंड देयर फोर ही इज एबल टू फोकस अटेंशन ऑन हिज एप्सल्यूट बीइंग एंड इन द रिकग्निशन ऑफ द एप्सल्यूट बीइंग द माइंड डिसअपियर्स इन द डिसअपियरेंस ऑफ द माइंड आई डिसअपियर्स एंड व्हेन आई डिसअपियर्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एज लिबरेशन फ्रॉम आई सो तस्याम परमार्थ तत्व लक्षणायाम अज्ञान निद्राया प्रबुद्ध जागृति संयमी संयमवा जितेन्द्रिय योगी इत्यर्थ नाउ फर्दर यस्याम जागृति भूता यस्याम ग्राह्य ग्राहक भेद लक्षणायाम अविद्या निशायाम प्रसुप्ता भूता जागृति इति उच्यते जस्याम निशायाम प्रसुप्ता इव स्वप्न दृश्य या निशा अविद्यारूपत्वाद परमार्थ तत्व पश्यतो मुने नव यस्याम जागृति भूता वेयर द एवरेज पीपल आर अवेकंड एवरेज पीपल आर अवेकंड वेयर ग्राह्य ग्राहक भेद लक्षणायाम अविद्या निशायाम वेयर द रिलेटिविटी एंड ड्यूएलिटी इज टेकन टू बी रियल ग्राह्य ग्राहक भेद इज रिलेटिविटी वेयर रिलेटिविटी एंड द ड्यूएलिटी इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी रियल इन दैट इग्नरेंस द वाइज मैन इज नॉट एट ऑल इन्फ्लुएंस सो यस्याम जागृति भूता सा निशा सो दैट ड्यूएलिटी एंड रिलेटिविटी इज लाइक नॉट अवेलेबल टू द वाइज मैन पश्यतो मुने How beautiful it is! So, in short, what it means? Our experience is relativity as the reality. 
एंड एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द वाइज मैन इज रिलेटिविटी इज एन इल्यूजन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द वाइज मैन इज एब्सोल्यूट इज द रियालिटी एंड आवर एक्सपीरियंस इज एब्सोल्यूट इज एन इल्यूजन सी द बेसिक डिफरेंस देर फोर या निशा सर्वभूता नाम तस्याम जागृति संयमी यश्याम जागृति भूता सा निशा पश्य तो मुने हाउ ब्यूटिफुल इट इज देर फोर फ्रेंड्स लेसर वी गेट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय रिलेटिविटी वाइजर वी आर ग्रोइंग एंड द मोर वी गेट इंटेंसली इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द रिलेटिविटी फुलिश वी आर ग्रोइंग so the sign of little bit of realization is is this relativity influencing us somebody said you stupid don't you understand why you are doing pranayam no it is not pranayam i am crying oh then it's okay i thought you know suddenly you are taking a pura kumbhak see Suddenly we start feeling sorry and all that. Therefore, please remember this principle. I hundred times telling you, refuse to be miserable because of anybody. If you really want to grow wise, so ataha now Bhagwan comes to his conclusion, and this conclusion is irritating to all those who want to do something, and such people they. bypass this portion oh because of this philosophy only our uh, you know and country is going to dogs as if everybody studying this philosophy then following so what is that atah karmani avidya avasthayam evacha utyante na vidya avasthayam the first principle therefore all activities are possible only in a state of ignorance that means all those who are struggling doing to achieve something according to our shastra they are ignorant now ignorant doesn't mean fools then super fools how super fools see when we are working struggling in this world we have had a wrong knowledge about ourselves and therefore we struggle so avidya doesn't mean yeah, ignorance and therefore sitting dull no so the first principle karmani avidya avasthayam eva cha udyante न विद्यावस्थायाम सेकंड थिंग विद्यायाम ही सत्याम उदिते सवितरी शार्वरम इव तमहा प्रणाशम उपगछति अविद्या द मोमेंट द सन राइजेस द डार्कनेस ऑफ द नाइट ऑटोमेटिकली इज लिफ्टेड अवे इन द सेम मैनर द मोमेंट यू डिस्कवर युअर करेक्ट आइडेंटिटी therefore that very moment all the desires and their children karmas disappear yada sarve pramuchyante kama yasya hridisthitah see one thing we all know bhagavad gita was told to arjun on the battlefield and what exactly happened when he was listening to the whole discourse was change was happening in his understanding he did not see it. vivikta deshe sukhasanasta shuchi samagriva sharak aha he was not doing that he was not doing pranayamam pratyaharam no he was not doing the japa yajnanam japa yajna ram 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 no what he has done he has only corrected his identity that's it 
and this is the only aim purpose of the scriptures to make us aware about our right identity this is the whole problem therefore vidyayam hi satyam udite when the recognition of the tr truth takes place savitari sharvaram ivatamaha meaning like the uh, udite savitari this is the sati saptami when the sun rises sharvaram ivatamaha like the darkness the ignorance pranasham upagachati the ignorance disappears and prag vidyotpatte hi avidya pramana buddhya gruhyamana kriya karak phala bhed rupa sati karma sarva karma hetutvam pratipadyate now here prag vidyotpatte hi before the recognition of our correct identity prag vidyotpatte hi avidya pramana buddhya gruhyamana under the influence of the ignorance we have taken our self to be jeeva that today in this world i am suffering because my prarabdha like the other day one lady came swami ji i can't imagine that i can meet you in uh, mathura in that dwarka this temple if she stops there then she is not a lady what is my prarabdha i am seeing you so she wanted to say how lucky i am to see you but they use any word anywhere so whenever we talk about prarabdha or the karma we are taking for granted the jiva as the reality now to get out of the jiva as the reality from the karya karan cause effect relationship is the introduction of path of devotion devotees <coughs> do not accept the karma theory devotees they have got their own theory they say whatever i have is the grace of the lord see where is the question of karma karma phala so the moment we start following the path of devotion law of karma disappears and law of karma is for whom he who is intelligent every time wants to know cause and effect so you can get lost in that so pramana buddhya avidya pramana buddhya gruhyamana so under the influence of ignorance we have accepted ourselves to be the jeeva and as a result of that kriya karaka phala bheda rupa sati then the karma and the doer and the karma phala the result of the karma when all these things are taken to be real sarva karma hetutvam pratipadyate then the sense of doership is born therefore if you see all these karmas which are done immediately the pandit ji comes and gives a rice in our hand not to eat then some flower says rice Uh, some water and then he is now take the sankalpa and in that sankalpa what we do we invoke the kartrutva abhiman so and so so and so aham karishami i shall be doing this karma so kriya plus the sense of doership is called as karma and when the karma is done karma phala will definitely come when karma phala comes impression will be formed this impression will again prompt us into activity and there is no end to this wheel of karma so avidya pramana buddhya gruhyamana when this jiva is taken to be the real under the influence of ignorance then karma karma phala chakkar continues na apramana buddhya gruhyamana ya karma hetutva upapatti and therefore apramana buddhi when you do not accept this as the reality that i am the jiva and i am doing papa punya if you don't accept that then there is no karma phala produce 
see so what is the cause of all the problem problem is i am the doer therefore prama apramana buddhya gruhyamanaya karma hetutva upapatti na and therefore once we understand this that all the karmas are happening in their prakriti and i have nothing to do with that thereafter there is neither sin nor merit everything is just happening and pramana bhutena vedena mama choditam kartavyam mama iti karma karmani karta pravartate na avidya matram idam nisha idam sarvam nisha iva iti therefore when i consider myself to be the uh, brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra or brahmachari grahastha vanaprastha sanyasi when i consider myself to be a defined individuality what happens then vedena pramana bhutena mama choditam kartavyam karma see is it not our duty according to bhagavad gita karmanne vadikaraste and those people who quote this they know only this one quarter they don't go further three because difficult to pronounce सो प्रमाण भूतेन वेदेन मम चोदित कर्तव्य कर्म इति कर्मणि कर्ता प्रवर्तते एंड दिस इज हाउ वी गेट इनटू एक्टिविटीज इनटू कर्म एंड द कर्तृत्वाभिमान इज बॉर्न न विद्या मात्रम इदम सर्व निशा इव एंड देर फोर दिस इज ऑल इग्नरेंस सो व्हाट इज इग्नरेंस इग्नरेंस इज we have taken ourselves to be the jeeva the one thing which has really intensely influenced my thinking is our swami akhandan ji maharaj and in one place he says that time he had not taken sannyas he was still um shantanu bihari divedi when he spoke or uh, gave a discourse on bhagavat 21 shankarananda avdhut he used to stay in a dilapidated house in uh, uh, kankhal in haridwar and that time swami akhandan used to be very young dynamic person and extremely orthodox brahmin and that audud never used to listen to anybody but to him he listened and he heard the whole bhagavat from him and after hearing that he said i have to give you something dakshina but i am audud i have nothing yet i will give you said, yes and then from this moment onward don't ever consider yourself to be a jeeva you are sakshat para brahma parmatma from that moment onward swami ji says i never had even once a doubt about my identity and mundoko parishad will tell us prajanan vidwan bhavate nati vadi he who is established in this absolute he will never become ativadi ativadi means insisting to impose one's views on others is called as ativadi and therefore it was he alone to him every type of person will come whether dvaitis whether vedantis whether yogis whether arya samaji whether jainis whether bauddhas whether atheists anybody and everybody is to find fulfillment at his feet and yet he never claimed anything see and i remember once i was uh, there and uh, i said swami ji i'll go tonight I got my lecture somewhere. Is there why I go? Sometimes you should break your sankalpa. There is a joint breaking sankalpa. Why should you should hold on to sankalpa? Sankalpa is because of you, or you are because of sankalpa. So I kept quiet. 
No, 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 go, go, I know, you have to go, no. But remember, if you have got Vedanta Nishtha, you will never be able to do Dharma Prachar. How beautiful. Because what Vedanta Nishtha tells you, there is but one reality. Then, whom you will tell what? See? And I went to that place where I had to go. And after going there, there was a curfew. On the station, I was held up. And then I was thinking, why Swamiji didn't tell me, don't go, there is a curfew there. And I was thinking, no, I'll go and give lectures. See? Therefore, it is extremely necessary that once we recognize our essential nature, automatically everything changes. Yoga Kshemam, both disappear. Niryoga Kshema Atma Vansi, we are told in this verse only. Niryoga Kshema, the struggle to gain what we don't have and the struggle to protect what you have, unless these things disappear from the mind, mind will not be precipitated on the self. So, Yasya punaha nisha yiva avidya matram idam sarva bheda jatam iti jnanam tasya atmadnesya sarva karma sanyasi eva adhikaraha na pravruttau. Therefore, that wise man, sanyasi, he who has recognized this all uh, world of duality is nothing but the projection of the ignorance of the self. For such a person, Atma uh, Sarva Karma Sanyase Eva Adhikaraha Na Pravruttau He cannot get involved into hordes of activities and run only for getting something. See? It is so important. Na Pravruttau Not in getting involved in this. Tathaja Darshay Shati And so the teacher will show us Tad buddhaya tad atmanaha tan nishtha tad parayanaha gachanda punaravrutti jnana nirdhuta kalmasha. He whose jnana nirdhuta kalmasha, he whose all sins of wrong identity are washed away by the correct identity, they are automatically withdrawn from the total world. So, in this manner, when the teacher has proved that a wise man never is seen to get involved into any kind of worldly activities. So here a question is raised. Atra api pravartaka pravartaka pramana abhave pravrutti anupapatti iti jet. So if we say then in this case that uh, uh, sannyasinaha jnana nishthayam eva adhikaraha that a wise man has adhikar only in the self knowledge then the question asked is pravartaka pramana abhave but where there is a pramana where there is authority like in case of the ignorant people there is authority that the Vedas tell that you should do this karma. In here, pravartaka pramana abhave. But there is no uh, reference like this anywhere and therefore this cannot happen. Iti ched, if we say like this, na svatma vishetvad atma jnanasya. See, atma jnana is referring to knowing the self. And nahi atmanaha svatmani pravartaka pramanata apekshata. Atmatvat na tadantatvacha sarva pramanam pramananam pramanatvam. There is no authority required to know the self. Our own being is not established either through the teacher 
or through the Vedas or through the senses or through anything. Our existence is self-determined, self-established and therefore no authority is expected. If somebody comes and tells you that you don't exist, what will you say? Give one. Why did you give me a non-existence give you? I did not give you because you told me I don't exist. So this is what I said here. Therefore, nahi atma swarupa adhigame sati punaha pramana prame vyaharaha sambhavati. So when the self is recognized, there is no possibility of knower, known difference wherein knower is using the means of knowledge to know something. Like, you know, suppose this pencil I had to know. So first is pencil the known and me the knower difference. Second thing, I will have to use the pramana, the means of knowledge, the eyes and the mind. Then the knowledge will take place. But in case of the self, I don't require any of my faculties, including the mind, to establish my own eternal existence. Therefore, pramana prame vivaharaha na sambhavati. There is no possibility of this kind of knowledge. This is what, if you remember in Sadachar, we are told that. Um, Vritti Vyapyatva Me Vastu Phala Vyapti Katham Bhavet There is a possibility of mind turning to the self. After the mind turns to the self, there is no possibility of the mind existing. Mind disappears. In the disappearance of the mind, where is the knower that I know the self? See? When I see an object, I don't disappear. See how important it is. When you are looking at an ordinary light, your eyes are functional. When there is tremendous bright light, your eyes disappear. Just can't see anything. In the same manner, when the mind is focused on the objective world, it can eliminate everything. But when the same mind focuses to itself or to the self, it disappears and therefore there is no phala vyapti there is no sense of doership born so pramatrutvam hi atmanaha nivartayati antyam pramanam this is the most important thing atmanaha pramatrutvam nivartayati the knowership of the self is removed means what it is the knowledge where there is no knower. See? When there is no knower, where is the I? This is what is called as freedom from I. Be very clear in this understanding. First is freedom from the body, Jiva. So, they host me, you are rejected, and Jiva host me, you caught hold of. Then among the jiva, then papi and punyatma. And then again go on uh, purifying and higher and higher, superior and superior jiva. It is something like uh, many of our uh, Indians, they go to USA. Then they don't want to come back. And they have got only that uh, you know, vanity that we are in USA. And what they are doing there? Gas station, taxi driving. Or McDonald's cleaning the dishes. But they don't want to come back to India. Why? Dignity of labor. Uh -huh. False prestige. In the same manner. Here, there is no question of I involved. So, nivartayat evam cha apramani bhavati swapna kala pramanam eva prabodhe. Now see how important it is. When this I has disappeared, like after the disappearance of the dream, what happens to the dreamer? Find out. 
nothing happens. Why? Dreamer is not the reality, something happened to it. When you have a bucket, and in that bucket there is a reflected disk of the sun, and you leave that bucket undisturbed, slowly, slowly, by the heat of the sun, slowly the water will be evaporated, and when the total water is completely dried up, only bucket is remaining. Poor reflection. Where it is, find out maybe somewhere here and there. No. Where the reflection has gone? Nowhere it has gone. Why? Because it was never there. It was only appearing in the same manner. This I in the waking state is merely an appearance. It is not the reality. Hold on to this. See, this also I told you, when we see a series of dreams, no dream personality is created. And when we are leading through the series of waking experiences, how the waking personality is created? What logic it has got? No logic. And therefore, nivarte evacha a pramani bhavati sapna kala pramanam iva prabhode. So, Sapna Kala Pramana, what was? In the dream, I was so hungry and I was standing in the queue. And when I got the food, a dog came and bounced and started running and I was running and I have tumbled and the dream broke. Now, with the breakage of the dream, we'll be going investigating. Anyway, let us find out where the dog has gone. It was Alsatian or a bulldog. Whether it was a chapati, bhakri or a puri. Whether it was a sabji or it was a dal. No need. Maybe where is that one who was suffering? See? So, Prabodhe, when we are awakened, all your knowledge, understanding, wisdom of the dream is totally washed away. Apramani Bhavati. In the same manner, when we awaken to our essential self, the whole relativity continues to appear, but does not have any meaning. Is it not? This is called as freedom from I. So, Lokecha Vastu Adhigame Pravrutti Hetu Tva Adarshanat Pramanasya And we have seen in this world Vastu Adhigame When you have reached the destination When you have recognized the thing You don't require again anything to be done You don't require anything to be found out You already found out In the same manner In the discovery of the self Veda Aveda Bhavanti Vedas have no meaning because Veda is none other than the self. So, was the pravrti hetutva adarshanat pramanasya. And for such a great master, there is no authority which can dictate do this thing or don't do this thing. He has gone beyond all relativity. Tasmat na atma vidaha. Karmani Adhikaraha Iti Siddham. Therefore, the wise man established in the self has no bondage or any obligation to do or not do anything in this world. Please remember, to do or not do. He may do, he may not do. It is his freedom. See? How Bhagavan says in the third chapter, Yastvat Prati Revasyat Atma Truptascha Manavaha Atman Nevecha Santushtaha Tasya Karyam Na Vidyate He who is firmly abiding in the self, he is not obliged with any obligatory duties. That doesn't mean he doesn't work, he may work. Like Bhagavan says, Nana Vaptam Vaptavyam Varta Eva Chakaramani. What is there for me to gain from this world? And yet I work in this world. That freedom 
is called death realization. Therefore, all that we have to do in this life is undo of what we have done. All that undoing is spiritual practice. All what we have become unbecoming is spiritual practice. And therefore, Vidushaha Tyaktai Shanasya Stita Pradnesya Yatehe Eva Moksha Praptihi Natu Asanya Sinaha Kama Kaminaha Iti Etad Artham Drushtantena Pradipadishan Ah. So Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Vidushaha Taktai Shanasya Sita Pradnesya Yatehe. So that seeker, that man of steady wisdom. That man of steady wisdom who has given up all the desire, Tektai Shanasya Vidushaha, that man of steady wisdom who is free from all the desires of this world and he who has recognized his own self, Eva Moksha Praptihi, he alone has attained real liberation. See, many of our Indians go from India to USA to liberate from India and they get bound in USA with what dishwashing or the vacuum or lawn moving. One of my friend he wanted to go and he told me I like everything there but I think I don't I won't go because in my whole life, I have never even washed my underwear. And there I have seen everybody has to do everything. All day you work for 10, 12, 14, 16 hours. After you come home, then go and stand in the kitchen. Do you have hunger? Uh, no, <laughs> I also don't have. Who will cook? She is also tired. He is also tired. Then both of them slowly go to the fridge and take out a fresh old sandwich from the fridge, minus 40 degrees. And then they thaw it. And the thawing of the frozen food is called the cooked food. One child was so frustrated. I don't know how to eat this. So the father said, Beta, don't say like this. See, your mother has done so much of, you know, uh, work. She is thawing the food. And then this is how the life continues. Therefore, moksha prapti he not changing the place, changing the situation, changing the status. That is not moksha prapti. Moksha prapti is this. Vidushaha tyaktai shanasya tita pradnyasya yatehe na kama kamina haiti not the one who is a desirer of desires this he explains through a example a purya manama chala pratishtham Samudra Mapa Pravishanti Yadvata Samudra Mapa Pravishanti Yadvata Tadvat Kamayam Pravishanti Sarve Tadvat Kamayam Pravishanti Sarve Sashanti Mapnoti Na Kama Kami Sashanti Mapnoti Na Kama Kami Apuryamanam Adhi, that which is filled with water, Achala Pratishtam, Achala Taya Pratishtha Avastitihi Asya, Tam Achala Pratishtam Samudram, the water which is filled, the ocean which is filled up to the brim by the waters, that Achala Pratishtam, that Samudra which is absolutely steady in its fullness. Now, apaha sarvato agataha pravishanti. When millions of billions of gallons of waters are poured every moment into the ocean, then swatmastham avikriyam evasantam. 
but the ocean is not influenced by the addition of the water tadvat in the same way kamaha vishaya sannidhau api sarvatah ichcha visheshaha yam purusham samudram iv apah avikurvantah he who is in the midst of all the worldly available objects and yet he who is undisturbed by the presence or the absence of the worldly objects the word uses avikurvantah does not create any modification any vikar in him pravishanti sarve atmani eva praliyante na swatma vasham kurvanti so all the desires are swallowed by him the desires no more enslave him na atmosham kurvanti they cannot enslave him sa shantim apnoti he alone attains shantim moksham apnoti he alone has attained real liberation so we are understood two types of liberation now one is liberation from i and second is liberation from not i see liberation from not i is presence or absence of anything does not disturb us otherwise all the time living in this world under fear 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 that is not liberation so he who is very much in the midst of the world and yet none of the worldly things and beings are ever able to influence him sa shanti ma apnoti he alone attains liberation moksham apnoti na itaraha kama kami kamyate kamyante iti kama ha vishaya tan kama itum shilam yasya sa kama kami that which is desired is called as objects and he who is constantly desiring about the objects is called as kama kami na eva apnoti shantim he can never attain peace in his life now up to here third question is over now what are the last question asked by arjun vraje takim uh स्थितधी कि प्रभाषेत किसीत व्रजेत कि हाउ डज इट मूव इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो इट इज नॉट दैट ओनली द वर्ल्ड कम्स टू अस बट वी ऑल्सो गो टू द वर्ल्ड हाउ डू वी गो ऑन द वाइज मैन गोज विहाय काम सर्वान् पुमाचरति निस्पृह निर्मो निरहंकार स शांतिमधिगछति विहाय परत्यज कामान यहा संन्यासी पुमान सर्वान अशेषत कार्सेन चरति जीवन मात्र चेष्टा शेष पर्यटति इत्यर्थ that wise man he who has given up all the desires whatsoever and thereafter asheshatah totally sarvan kaman sanyasya vihaya charati jivan matra chesta sheshah he is just allowing the life to be lived through him this is the beauty he has nothing to be achieved in this world how this is so simple when we have to go to a particular destination till we reach the destination there is all struggle after having reached the destination everything is quiet so he who has attained this and how he attains no more desires because there is nothing other than the self be, be very attentive we cannot have desire of the self we always have desire about the not self understand is two ways one i 
विल नेवर हैव डिजायर ऑफ माय पेंसिल बिकॉज इट इज माइन आई विल नेवर हैव डिजायर अबाउट माय पेंसिल बट आई विल हैव डिजायर फॉर माय पेंसिल व्हाट नो बडी शुड टेक इट अवे नाउ सेकंड थिंग आई विल हैव डिजायर अबाउट युअर पेंसिल वाई बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव दैट पेंसिल so desire about the finite which is owned by me is the desire for protection and the desire for the object which is owned by you but which is also finite is the desire for possession all our life is a load bearing only for these two things desires to possess and desire to protect This is what Bhagwan says. Nir Yoga Kshema Atma Van. So, he who thus gives away all the desires and nispruha ha, sharira jivana matre api nirgata spruha yasya sa nispruha san. You know, all the desires can be clubbed into two desires. This is the beauty of our scriptures. All the desires. What are that? Desire to live and desire to die. When the two desires disappear, you have no desire. This is what Bhagwan says. Sharira jivana matre api. Not even whether the body is there or not. If it is there, very good. If it is not, it is still good. So nirma maha. शरीर जीवन मात्र क्षिप्त परिग्रहे अभी मम इदम अभिनिवेश वर्जिता एंड देन इवन फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग द बॉडी एंड द लाइफ व्हाट एवर थिंग्स वी हैव एक्यूबुलेटेड इवन टुवर्ड्स दैट आल्सो ही हैज नो पॉजिटिवनेस निर्मम एंड द नेक्स्ट वन निरहंकार निरहंकार विद्यावत्वादी निमित्ता असंभाव आत्मसंभावना रहिता इत्यर्थ निरंकारा मीन्स वॉट आई एम वाइजर दैन अदर्स आई एम अ ग्रेट संन्यासी आई एम अ मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल पर्सन आई हैव गिवन अप एवरीथिंग बैरागी बाबा इवन दैट अहंकार इज नॉट देयर स एवं भूतासित प्रज्ञा ब्रह्मविद शांति सर्व संसार दुख उपरमा रक्षण निर्वाणाख्या अधिगछति प्राप्नोति ब्रह्म भूतो भवती इत्यर्थ स शांति आपनोति न स शांति अधिगछति सचे पर्सन अधिगछति मीन्स वॉट अधिगछति मीन्स रेकग्नाइजेस गम धातु इज ज्ञानार्थ एंड अधि वेन इट इज एडेड इट बिकम्स रेकग्निशन so he recognizes what is the meaning of real shanti all other is only an opposition to ashanti concluding this chapter sai sha gnana nishta stuyate this gnana nishta is glorified esha brahmi sthiti partha ne naam prapya vimuyati sthitva syamant kale pi ब्रह्म निर्वाण मृछति ईशा यथोक्ता ब्राह्मी ब्रह्मणि भवा इं स्थिति कर्म सन्न्य ब्रह्मेण अवस्थान वॉट इज द ब्राह्मी स्थिति ब्राह्मी स्थिति इज लिविंग एज ब्रह्मन लिविंग एज कॉन्शियनेस नॉट एज द बॉडी नॉट एज द प्राण नॉट एज द माइंड and therefore the three pairs of uh, urmis with reference to the body jara mrutyu with reference to the prana ashana vipasa with reference to the mind shoka moha these three pairs of urmis are no more touching him this is what is called as uh, brahma rupena avasthanam हे पार्थ न एनाम स्थिति प्राप्य लब्धा विमुह्यति न मोहम प्राप्नोति वंस यू रेकग्नाइज दिस देयर आफ्टर देर इज नो सेकंड अटेम्प्ट रिक्वायर्ड प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस इन प्रिंसिपल इट इज ओनली इन प्रकृति 
रिपीटेशन इज पॉसिबल इन द एब्सल्यूट रिपीटेशन इज नॉट पॉसिबल हाउ सिंपल इट इज टेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वर्ड्स वर्ड्स आर मेनी रिपीटेशन इज पॉसिबल ओम 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 साइलेंस यू कैन नॉट रिपीट साइलेंस साइलेंस इज अनरिपीटेड एक्जिस्टेंस इन रिलेटिविटी इन मैटर वेयर देर आर चेंजेस रिपीटेशन इज पॉसिबल इन द एब्सोल्यूट नो रिपीटेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड देर फोर ये नाम प्राप्य न विमुयति स्थित अस्याम स्थितो ब्राह्याम ब्राह्म्याम यथोक्तायाम अंत काले अंत्य वैसे अभी ब्रह्म निर्वाण ब्रह्म निवृत्ति मोक्ष वृक्षति गच्छति कि वक्त ब्रह्मचर्या सन्यास यीव यो ब्रह्मणि अतिवृष्टि स ब्रह्म निर्वाण वृक्षति सो इवन एट द लास्ट मोमेंट ऑफ अवर लाइफ वॉट एवर यू हर डन गुड और बैड डजन मैटर इज द लास्ट मोमेंट ऑफ युअर लाइफ If you have come to discover your correct identity, you have won the match. Brahma Nirvana Mrutchati. Bhagwan Shankara says, if this can happen even the last moment, this is the gain. And those who are practicing this sannyas or the path of renunciation, right from Brahma Charya onwards. what to talk of them meaning they shall certainly attain in this manner in this second chapter bhagwan has glorified the wonder and importance of this atma jnana and without this there is no way that we can free ourselves once this is not known we keep on suffering 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 om purnamadaha purnamidam purnaat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha हरि ओम